thing that we are told is that we must overcome. The question comes, overcome what? What should we overcome? This is the answer, overcome temptation. Amen. Overcome what? Trials. Overcome what? Fear. Overcome doubts. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are four major areas that we have to concentrate on. You as believer, if God is going to make you to be a pillow, a pillow, sorry, in this uh, 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 temple, then you must overcome temptation. We saw Job overcoming temptation. Hallelujah. Amen. Temptation came upon Job. He was tempted by his wife and his friends because of the trial that he saw himself in. And the thing that he was going through, illness of his wife. Job's wife tempted him and, called him and told him that he should cause God. Job's friends came and placed some temptation before him that you are the cause of what is happening to you. Somebody say amen. amen. But Job overcame the temptation. He did not allow the accusation, the temptation to cause him to, to miss his, his walk with God. Hallelujah. Amen. He kept his eyes on God until God could say, yes, indeed, he is a pillow. He is a pillow in my one temple. Somebody say amen. amen. We also see Job overcoming trials. If you know the story of Job, one thing after another, sons died. Cattles were all carried. His servants were all killed. The house was broken down uh, 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 through earthquake and whatever. He went through trials. He lost everything within a daytime. Somebody say amen. amen. But Job overcame trial. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we also see Job overcoming doubts. I can, I can remember Job said, Job never doubted God. He said, I know my Redeemer what? Live it. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. In all the temp temptations and trials that came before him, he said, I know my Redeemer live it. I'm just being tested. I'm going through the fire, and when I come out, I will shine like a goal in Jesus' name. Amen. So Job was able to overcome temptation. Job was able to overcome trials. Job was able to overcome doubts. Hallelujah. He never allowed doubt to creep his mind. Even when his friends came and, and placed an accusing figure to him. Job, you are, you are going through just what you deserve. Job never allowed any amount of doubt from their thought to capture him. Somebody say amen. Even when his wife came and said, cause God. He never allowed any amount of doubt to capture him. He kept his focus on God. Somebody say amen. Amen. We also see Job overcoming fear. Fear of death, he never allowed himself to say, you know, you know the thing will kill me or even you, know, you know they will destroy me. He kept his faith continually, even with all the stages that he went through, those situation. He had faith in God. I want to, I want to encourage you this hour. No amount of temptation you must allow to overcome you. You must overcome every temptation that comes your way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Overcome every trial the enemy will bring your way. Overcome every doubt. Now, right now, there are a lot of doubts and fear that is, that is, that is roaming the earth right now. But God has given you the power, the power to overcome them. You are not giving up the, 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 the spirit of fear, but the power to give you the power to overcome doubts. He gave the power to overcome fear. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you can overcome doubts and fear, you will overcome temptation. Amen. You will overcome trials in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And when you can overcome all of them, then you become a pillow. In the temple of God. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, God is calling us Christians to overcome any Amen. form of temptation, to overcome any kind of trials, to overcome every doubt that the enemy may bring your way, to overcome every fear you are seeing every day. He said, He who overcome, I will make him what? A pillow. Amen. In my house, in my temple. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the second thing I want to talk about is when you shall have met the requirement. Because it's a requirement set. He that what? Overcome. I will do this. When you shall have met the requirement, that means when you overcome temptation, when you overcome 
overcome trials, when you overcome doubts, when you overcome fear, what happened? God make you a what? Pillow. Make you a pillow. Let's see the picture of a pillow. God make you a this one here is is it was about P R L L A R O a pillow. That's the other two here. Alright. There is a difference between this and this. I'm, 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 I'm not used to this part here in Jesus' name. Amen. God make you a pillow. A pillow. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, what is the word pillow? The word pillow. Pillow. A pillow. A frame upright support for a structure. For a structure or for structure. It is a frame upright. You look at that thing, it's strong upright. As I was showing, this is the pillar right here. The host, the, uh, the, the, the roof, to the foundation. This is a pillar. This is the pillar right here. This is another pillar right here. Right here, this is another pillar right here. All right, it holds the foundation, uh, the foundation to the roof, or the roof to the foundation. It connects it and holds it together. Somebody say amen. Amen. And an upright supporting part. So anything that is upright and supporting uh, uh, stuff from falling, from, from bending in is a pillar. Hallelujah. Amen. Pillar can also be a person who is a chief supporter of a society, a state, an institution, organization. So somebody can be a pillar, somebody who stands to support the church. It's a pillar. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The person that stands in your family to support the family is a pillar. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. We'll get it there. Making a pillar for now. I want to say you're making a pillar for what? Or for where? Pillar for where? In the what? Temple of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the third thing. I will make you a pillar in the temple of God. Bible refers to temple as the what? House of God. It also known as the body of Christ. For your body is the temple of who? God. God. So he will make you a, 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 a pillow for his body. In, his, in, his, in the body. Christ is the head and you become a, 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 a pillow in the body. You are holding the body together. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You also know as a place of worship. God will, be, uh, God will make you a pillow in his house. You'll be that supporting arm. That strength. Somebody say amen. amen. Now let's talk about the phrase now. The phrase, he shall go out no more. That, that's the fourth one. He shall go out no more. When you become a pillar, you will not go out of the church no matter what happens. You get that part. When God makes you a pillar in his church, no matter what happens in the church, you cannot leave the church. Hallelujah. No matter what people say about you, you cannot leave the church. No matter what somebody do to you, you cannot leave the church because you are a pillow in the church. You are a pillow in the what? church. You are a structure that the church stands upon. You are a structure in the body of Christ. So you don't give up because things are not going on right. Job was a pillow. That way, uh, 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 the, the Bible said God told uh, 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 the, the devil that Job is a faithful servant. I trust him. So Job got to a place that he was a what? A pillar. He was a, a supporting arm in the body. He was a strength in the body. And all the temptation, all the trial, all the tribulation he went through, he never left the temple. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not leave the temple. Hallelujah. You will not turn your back on God. If you are a pillow, you will not turn your back on God. You will not uh, you will continue to trust God despite the situation. Hallelujah. When God establishes you as a pillow, you will continue to trust God despite the situation. You will keep your eyes on God despite the situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You will abide until death. 
Hallelujah. You will abide in the word of God. You will abide in the things of God. You will continue in the things of God until death takes you from the earth. Because you are a pain law. Hallelujah. It is God promised to preserve you. So you see, it, 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 it's not on your, 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 your ability again. When God establishes you, when you overcome those things, God establishes you as a pillar. And when you become a pillar, then you are, you are under the grace of God. And that grace will preserve you. That grace will protect you. That grace will cover you. The reason why we see people jumping from church to church because, is because they are not a pillar yet. People who are pillar never leave a church. Because they have found their what? Their place. They have found their role. They found their position. They found what God has called them to do. Somebody say amen. Amen. And they take it right there. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not go out. Now, let's come to the message. I want to preach to you quickly on the, on the, on the, on the next uh, 15 minutes. I want to preach to you. Are you a pillar or a pillow? Look there. Are you a pillar or a what? A pillow. What are you? Are you a pillow or a pillow? That's a, that, that's a topic of discussion. I want you to ask yourself, am I a pillow or am I a pillow? Ask yourself, in Jesus' name. Amen. Revelation 3, 12. He will overcome, I will make him a pillar in my temple, in the temple of God. And he shall go out no more. Now, what does God why does God use the description? What is pillow that God is referring to? What is the function of pillar? And how can I prepare my uh, prepare myself to become a pillar? Now, some of you or some of us have have have, have been uh, uh, opportune to have seen some ancient buildings, like the Greece and, and, and the Roman building. On the Greece, and people, when we look at their picture, even in movies. Or you are, if, if, if you are forced to travel to, 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 to Rome or, or to Greece, you will see how their buildings are structured. Their buildings are structured very well. They are, they are differently, differently structured. They are designed, the kind of design they have with the pillow. They are all structured with pillars. A pillar holds the building off. Very strong. So it, it stays for years and years and years, and the building is not going to collapse because the pillow that supports the building is, 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 is very firm and solid. And you have different kinds of design. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, what would be the design of, uh, of the pillar of God's temple? God has a, a, a design, and, and, and in Exodus 27, 12, 12, 17, we don't talk about it, but give, God gave us a, a glimpse of the beauty, the beauty and the meticulous detail placed in his pillar. How the pillar should be designed, how the pillar should be fixed. And we also see that right here, in Romans chapter, not Romans, but Revelation 3 verse 2, right? where he says, he that overcome. So to become a pillow, the ingredients, the design of the pillow is to overcome. When you overcome, then you are, he structure you as a pillow. Hallelujah. Mm. When you overcome temptation, you are qualified. When you overcome trial, you are qualified. When you overcome doubts and fear, you are qualified. You have the design, you have the structure, you have the supporting arm to be structured as a pillow. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now. Now, it is it is no doubt or it will not bring any confusion. If you myself look at those those structure that uh, that, that is in Rome or Greece or other places, when you look at them, you will know that this building has been in existence for a long time in Jesus' name. Just by looking at them, they are beautiful, they are strong, their structure is so supporting. You will know that uh, uh, their design is very, uh, they look so good, they look so great, and, and they, are, they are so solid. Listen, very soon the world will be able to recognize you by looking at your pillow in Jesus' name. Amen. They'll be able to recognize God by seeing who you are. As soon as they see you, they'll know who you are. Hallelujah. As soon as they see you, they'll know because they, they will not be heavy. Hallelujah. They will see it in your walk, they will see it in your talk. One who is the pillow is being seen. It's not heavy. Somebody say amen. amen. Are you a pillow? Are you preparing now to become a pillow? <laughs> or oh, are you a pillar? A pillar? Are you a pillar or a pillow? In Jesus' name. Amen. Are you a pillar or a what? 
a pill? That's the question. What is the difference between the spiritual pillar and pillow? Now, there are some Christians who are called fair weather Christians. Fair weather. Fair weather Christian. As long as the sun is shining on them and everything is all right, they are good Christian. As long as the sun is shining, everything all right, that means everything fine in your life, they are good Christian. So they are fair weather. But when the weather change, when things are bad, they are no more Christian in Jesus' name. And fair weather Christians are people who are pillow. Hallelujah. They are not pillow. They are pillow. They are the pillow you lay your hands on. Somebody say amen. amen. Shall glory. glory. Oh. And it's the desire of God that you don't become a pillow. Huh? A pillow. I mean, you don't become a pillow. Become a pillow. Somebody say amen. amen. As a Christian, God expects you to be a pillar. Be a supporting arm, a structure that the church can rely on. And that's why he said in 1 Thessalonians 2, 4, but as we have been approved by God to be trusted with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing man, but God who tests our heart. So he said, we don't please man, we are not called to please man, but we are taught to what? Please God. Because God is the one that will test our heart. We have been approved, hallelujah, by God to trust, uh, 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 be trusted with the gospel. God approved you, He trusts you with the gospel. So you can speak it. Not to please man, but to please who? God. Stay on it. Not to show men that you are, uh, 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 you are righteous, but to prove to God, or to, to show to God that you are, you are in Him and He's in you. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, over the years, most of us have met people who seem to be a pillar. You have seen them. You have worked with some of them. People on whom you could lay on and rely on. They, they were almost open and friendly and serving, yet they fell away. Now, what a lesson you learn from that. If you lay on people, you may fall when they fall. Hallelujah. If you lean on people, you may fall when they want fall. There are some people who are pillow in our lives. They're the one that supports us, they're the one that stretches us up. But if they are not strongly structured when they fall, all of those that lay on them will fall. This house is resting on pillow. When the pillow a cripple or, 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 or have a crash, when the pillow breaks in between, the house will what? fall. Because you have nothing to support again. Somebody say amen. amen. But many of the time we see many people falling because those who are the pillar, uh, 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 pillar has broken or uh, 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 has, 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 has fallen. If, if you play your faith, if you place your faith in other people and your vision is to become like those, those people, what happens if they fall away? So your faith is not in them. Your faith is in who? Jesus Christ. Your stability is gone and you fall. Why? As well as you fail. If you place your faith in the person and all your confidence is only in Pastor Archie. You know, it's not in the God that Pastor Archie said, but in Pastor Archie. When Pastor Archie fall, you will fall. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Those who have placed their faith in other people, looking to them for guidance, Vision and support, rather than looking to Christ, having often found that uh, that their Christian uh, uh, their work with God is supported. Whenever the, the person that they lay upon or that, that house that is stand upon scattered down, they too will fall and scatter. But this does not mean, as a child of God, or this does not. I'm not telling you that it should be only it should be only just you and Jesus attitude. You need other people in your life. Hallelujah. It's not only you and Jesus, you need other people in your life. You need other people that you can look up to, that you need other people that will stand to, to, to be a supporting arm to you. But you have to look, look at them, you have to look in them through to see Jesus. Yeah. Follow, follow the Jesus they follow. Hallelujah. Amen. Follow the Jesus the what? They follow. That's what you, you, you're concerned about. Now, 
let's take a look at the difference between pillow and pillow. Let's see the difference. The difference between pillow and pillow can be seen when both are under pressure. There's a difference between two of them. When both of them are under pressure, you will see the difference. When this is under pressure, it remains stay strong. It doesn't bend. Hallelujah. Amen. It stays stay strong and balanced. When this is under pressure, it what? It goes down. It don't stay up. Somebody say amen. amen. When pillar is when, 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 when pillar is under stock of uh, uh, pressure, when you sit on it, what happens? It goes down. It doesn't stay up. It doesn't stay puffed up. It reduces the air with inside itself and goes down. So you see the difference. It doesn't bend. Pillow doesn't bend. But pillow bend in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. That pressure may be the test from God. The pressure from above. So if you are a pillow, when pressure comes, you will what? Bend. You will lose air. But when you are a pillow, Hallelujah. When pressure comes, you are still strong. When you are a pillow, you will, you will not be strong. Hallelujah. Are you understanding me? Now, it may be a peer pressure which press you against each other. Peer pressure comes. It push you against your, your friend. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you are a pillow, you are standing, you are standing on God. You have been supported. You are structured and you are not easily moved. But if you are a pillow, you are you are what? You are broke, uh, 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 you, you, are, you lose your 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 wholeness. Hallelujah. And you get what? Uh, 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 air loose out of you. And you get pain. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. You understand that? Hallelujah. Amen. Now it may be pressure from every wind of doctrine. You may also have pressure from every wind of what? Doctrine. Alright? Which can push you apart. Now, when pressure is removed, a pillow, a pillow or a pillow ship, pillow may look identical. Now, if you look at both of them, they all are high up. You see that? This is high up, it's structured, support. This is high up, it almost everything stands solidly. Same frame. They all look identical. Because they're all standing together. But when pressure is added to it, what happens? One by one goes down. Somebody say amen. The other one will remain strong, stay standing strong structurally. But the other one goes down because of pressure. Now, as a child of God, as a Christian, if you are a pillow, during this situation, fear will kill you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Fear will what? Kill you. Doubts will come for you. Somebody say amen. amen. But if you are a pillow, hallelujah, yeah. you are already solidly foundation in God. Mm -hmm. Your trust is in God. You know who God is to you. Yeah. You are not just a baby Christian. Mm -hmm. You know what it means to have confidence in God. Mm -hmm. You know what it means to trust God in this difficult time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Nothing is ever to, to what? To change your faith or remove your faith. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. That's what happens. Alright? Now, but when they are under pressure, the difference becomes obvious. A spiritual pillow, a, a pillow, pillow is it, it, it giving in every form of pressure while a true pillar will continue to stand, just as I explained. Hallelujah. Now, now, when we compare both of them, we see that pillow has on what on bending on the pillar as on bending and strong. This can never bend. It's just strong. This can never bend. It's strong until maybe something hit and it breaks. Hallelujah. But it's solidly steady strong frame. That's pillar. Hallelujah. That's pillar. And we as Christians, we must be a pillar. Strong, unmovable. 
Don't allow anything to move us. We are strong structure in the foundation of the word. Structure in the foundation of Christ. Hallelujah. No amount of doubt, no amount of fear can move us. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, with pillow, with pillow, pillow and our, our flimsy, they do not sustain weight without bending. They do not hold weight. When you place weight on it, they bend. Hallelujah. When you place weight on it, the air comes out of it. Hallelujah. It goes down. Whereas pillow will not bend. Pillow is unmovable. But pillow moves. Hallelujah. Ups and down. Now, pillow are solid inside and outside. Hallelujah. Yeah. Inside this pillow is very solid. Hallelujah. Outside is solid. You can lay on it and you know it's not going anywhere. You can hear it, it's not going anywhere. Because it is, it is structurally uh, a structure. It is holding the roof and the foundation together. And that's what we're supposed to be as Christians. Somebody say amen. amen. A pillow. Now, pillow, pillow is a difference. The outside of pillow may look strong, may look great. But the inside is different. The interior part is different. Inside is soft. Hallelujah. It's a softy flying inside. It's sometimes air. Air is in there. Sometimes you got fellas, fellas leaves. And other uh, particles of things to put in there. Sometimes a bunch of sponge within there in Jesus' name. Soft material. So when you sit on it, it goes down. When you lay down on it, it goes down. Hallelujah. But if you have the, the, the power or the ability to lay on this thing, it's not going anywhere. It's not bending. It's not getting sober. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Are you a pillow or a pillow? Pillow stand upright. They serve a higher purpose above themselves. Pillow you shall lay down flat. Look at it. It lay down what? flat. It doesn't stand up by itself. Pillar stand up by itself and uphold the roof and the what? The foundation. It holds it together. Pillar just lie down flat. When you are a pillar, you are a weak Christian. You are a Christian who is very uncomfortable. Hallelujah. And you are finding a place for comfort. In Jesus' name. Alright. Now. Pillars are built on. Are built to carry weight. This is built to carry what? Weight. To hold weight. It's built to hold weight. It supports buildings. A whole structure together. Whereas pillow are movable interior decoration. It's used to decorate the house. Used to decorate the, the, the bed in Jesus' name. Little small pillow, you, you, you put it, you put cushion, you put it on, on, on your chair. Those are all pillows in Jesus' name. You for decoration. Alright? And why this other one? They, they, they use they lay, lay, lay there on something. But this other one is used to support. The other one is a decoration. God has not called you to be a decoration. God has not called you to be what? A decoration. He has called you to be a support. He has called you to be the strength. Hallelujah. The supporting arm of the temple. The strength of the temple. The one who will stand during crisis. The one who will encourage other people who are, who are pillows. A pillow. And you want to encourage them because you are a pillow. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. amen. So you are what God has called you to be. And that is a pillar. The one that the church can stand on. The one that the church relies on. Now for us, for some of us, it may be much easier to fall into the category of a pillar, a pillow, sorry, a pillow. Especially when every, 
when everything is going to wrong in our life, when everything is going so bad, it's very easy for us to fall into that category. Because we don't have any structure. We were coming to church when you feel like coming to church. Then we come to church on those on those occasions we came without even carrying anything out. The way we came down, how we went. So when crisis come, we are not pillow. We are pillow. Hallelujah. And we begin to shiver and tremble. We don't have anything to hold on to. No grace. Somebody say amen. Amen. So it's easier for us to fall prey to them. And that's why they stand around and encouraging people of God. It's time to, that what we said, this is the moment to rest. Rest and learn of God in Jesus' name. Because many people have been running here again. You have no time to rest. This is the moment to rest. Say so you guys don't know where to go again. You want to enjoy your time? Just rest. And the resting does not mean just for your arm. We talk about it in our no, revival. It means that you, you just listen to what God is saying. Open your ears. Read your Bible. Pray. God is speaking. God will be developing you. Maturing you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the time to hear from God. This is the time to learn of God. This is the time to get solidly rooted in His Word. Because there will come a time that you may not even have the time to, to do that. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We return to, to, to what? We return to, to seek comfort and, re, and, and, and relieve of pressure and the easy way out, out of our trouble. Be quick in the matter of release. We will not help you to fulfill your calling. Okay? But there is no, no, there is no vacation from our Christian commitment. If you, if you take a piece of mental out of the fire before it is refined, it will be wrong. Now there are people that, that want to get out quickly in Jesus' name. They don't want to stay there to get to, to, to get refined. Being refined will help you in times of crisis. Go through the fire. Go through the storm. It's for your structuring. It will make you to be a pillar that when crisis come, you will be able to stand. You will not be movable. Hallelujah. You will be unmovable. You will be well structured. Solid from a foundation. Hallelujah. That's the pillow. But pillow, my friend, anything for a pillow, the pillow why? Then it goes in. Hallelujah. So we see many Christians going in now. Many Christians are shut down. Many Christians are in the hole. They can't come up. They even in your room that they wear masks and, and, and gloves. In your room, in your own hospital, they are alone. They're wearing masks, gloves, face masks, everything. Shut down. What are you in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Small problem. As I said, small, I would call it small corona. Small corona come in Jesus' name. Not even be one small corona. Even in your own house, they wear masks. I heard a funny story. The man and his wife. Same day Corona started. He told the man, say you walk outside, he's coming back here, two of us, we can see each other. And, and, it's, and it's so good that they got room, two rooms in the house, so you stay alone, say man. But you come to, hey, don't plant my door, don't plant my door. Corona, 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 Corona. Corona. <laughs> hey, Jesus, man. Hallelujah. And you know, so we see that. And it's on a, on a pillow, on a pillow, pillow Christians, people who are pillow. Are the people who are who are, are this are, 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 are what I'm talking about? They are weak. They are soft. When things come, they quit to bend. Hallelujah. They quit to bend. They quit to lose air. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. Now, if you try to use a piece of rock as a column, uh, 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 as a column before it it, it, it is huge, it is still. All right. Now, so we who are called as pillar must strive to develop the quality of a pillar. Yeah. We must strive to develop the quality of a pillar. Yeah. There are qualities in this thing. Inside is solid. Mm -hmm. Outside is what? Solid. Mm -hmm. So no amount of thing you will do to it that will make it come down. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your talking cannot bring it down. Okay. 
Your complaint cannot break it down. Your castigation cannot break it down. Your lying on it cannot break it down. Even Corona cannot destroy this pillow. Hallelujah. Amen. This pillow cannot be destroyed by Corona. But you see, when you are a pillow, say the pillow, I mean when you are a pillow, that you lay your head upon, lay the head off, Corona will destroy you. Amen. When any weight sit upon or sit upon that you, you are, you collapse to the ground. Amen. You are afraid, you're trembling. Amen. Hallelujah. What are you? Are you a pillow or a pillow? Are you a pillow or a pillow? We almost better close. Learn to remain strong, consistent, serving, effective team member, and focus on the mission above. That is the question they call a pillow. Learning to be what? Strong! Learn to be consistent. No matter what comes, I'm consistent in what I'm doing. I'm believing God, and God is what we believe. No matter what you say, what no matter what people say out there, I know that God is in control, and that's what settles the matter in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, David wrote this in, 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 in Psalm chapter uh, 51, verse 10. He said, Create in me a what? A clean heart, O God, and renew a what? A steadfast spirit within me. Hallelujah. You know, create me a clean heart. A pillow is the person who said, Lord, create me a clean heart. Who has want to be clean every moment? A person who is a pillow, they are relaxed. Because they're comfortable laying down on, on, on the pillow. They're going to fire to sleep. In Jesus' name. Fire to sleep. While the pillow is saying, renew my heart, Lord. Take me from strength to strength. Within you, I'm strong. But I still need your strength. Amen. I still need your energy, your comfort. Amen. The fellow person is laying down crying, Amen. snowing, frustrated, disappointed. Smarty hit the, uh, the, 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 the scary already in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to encourage you. God has made you to be a pillar. You are to hold weight. You are to hold up weight. You are strong. You are not complete like the, the rest of the world. Who will go to them? Everybody complain. Mm -hmm. The people complain, the pastor complaining. Mm -hmm. The people are afraid, the pastor are afraid. <laughs> who are they going to? Mm -hmm. who, who, who are they getting encouraged from? Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. That's what the three boys said. Everybody else may be afraid of you. Now, I came to realize, I, didn't, I have not said it to you people here, but just this week I discovered. Because I told you that King Nebuchadnezzar went and sieged and sieged what? Jerusalem. Destroyed the temple, took all the, the, the resources out of there and took it. And even took people here. But we didn't hear anything from the people again. We only heard about the four of them. Because they were in higher authority. But it, it, it didn't mean that only four of them were there. But the Bible only told us that only four of them did not bow to the king's image. And three of them did not buy and, and, and were out in our spring. They didn't tell us about it. That means other people, they what? They, 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 they allowed themselves to compromise, to be compromised by the culture they met. Hallelujah. Amen. So it takes someone to stand up from among us. We all can be the same. They left their home where they, they were celebrating God. They left their home where they knew uh, how to worship God. But now they are in a new place when the king said, buy to me and worship my image. The rest of them are buying. Amen. Today we have the rest of, rest, rest of the church is buying today. Mm. Buying to fear. Buying to death. Uh, to, to, to doubts. Buying to corona. Mm. Who will stand up for the church? Who is the pillar in the midst of corona? What are you? Are you a pillar in the temple of God? Or are you a pillow? Are you the one who puts much, much, uh, that is holding the body of Christ together? That is holding the kingdom of God together? With your supporting strength and arms? Or are you the one who's sleeping and relaxed? And crying from terror? Crying from the news? Crying from so many things that are happening out there? Yeah. It's good to have sympathy. It's good to pray for them. But we need to show them that we are strong in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Our confidence is in God. 
uh, watching a preacher, uh, uh, American preacher this week. He was on the Facebook. Uh, uh, they, 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 they went with it. They're doing all kinds of work to hard church right now. Now, we don't want just say that. Oh, 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 check those out. Oh, yeah. Just go to the church. They're doing all kinds of church. He brought it to pick up. New brand pick up. Starting to pick up. He's staying to pick up. He speaks us everything to pick up. And all the other people then in a big open field. In a car, a lot of people standing, a lot of people there. And he's preaching. And one thing he said, I want you to understand the tricks of the enemy. The trick of the enemy is to close down the church. But the church cannot close down. Yeah. And we have to create a church, we'll create a church. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And they tell us to preach in our car, we're preaching our car. They tell us to preach in a, 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 all the form we're doing. But the church cannot close down. We have to find a way that we will stand up as a pillar. In the midst of this pandemic. Because the mind of the enemy is for us to be a pillow. Mm. Not to say a word. Mm. Just be comfortable with the situation. Mm. Feel okay with the situation. Mm. My friend, I'm not okay with the situation. Somebody out there needs Jesus Christ. Yeah. Somebody out there needs to hear the word of God. Yeah. Somebody needs to see my faith. Yeah. Know my walk with God. Know that I'm confident in God. I'm trusting God. I'm not disrespecting anybody. I'm not shooting anybody down. But I know that God has served. He's able to protect me. He's able to sustain me in the midst of Corona. Amen. I will not bow to any baby image. Because I am a pillow. A pillow. I will not bow. In Jesus' name. I'm not a pillow. For somebody to rest their head on me. For me to relax. Finally. Finally. And listen to me. You can say whatever you want to say. They can say whatever they want to say out there. I'm not moved by the words of man. I'm moved by the word of God. Hallelujah. I know God got my back. And God knows what I'm doing. And he knows what he wants to do through me. And that's why the word out there will see that God is good. Hallelujah. Say, I am God, and I will be exalted among the what? The hidden. I will be exalted among the hidden. God will be known in this time. Yeah. Whatever form we choose, God will be known. Yeah. Thank God for people who are created. Yeah. Now, out there, and still find a way to minister the word of God. Yeah. Reaching out to people who need to hear it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because how will they hear? And say, we go to them. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have to find a way to be there. We have to find a way to be there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Or else the devil will capture them and they are going to hell. Mm -hmm. so true. And our mind, our plan, our vision here is to depopulate the kingdom of darkness. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the time that we must do it. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will waste time. It will be disaster. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Finally. Finally. I hear Jesus saying here, yeah. or Jesus wanting everyone who hear this saying of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floor came, and the wind blew, and beat on the house, and it fell, and great was their fall. Everyone who hear the word and does not do them. You have heard it, God is telling you that you are a pillar. You are not a pillow. You are a pillow. You are not a what? Pillow. He called you to be a pillow. And to be a pillow, you must do four things. You must overcome temptation. God has given you the ability to overcome it. You must overcome trials. God is with you. He has not left you. He will not forsake you. You must overcome doubts. You are not getting of the spirit of fear, of confusion. So that is my being in our age, Jesus Christ. When you have the man, that will fear from you. Whatever you bound in heaven, you bound in heaven. Be bound in heaven. And then know that he, not, uh, uh, he said what? Well, well, overcome what? Well, fear. Amen. Fear. Amen. There is nothing in fear when you come to God. Okay. God is a whole God. He's a trusted God. He's somebody you can rely on. You can depend on. Nobody ever went to him and he, and he, and he what? And, and he turned his back on them. Or let them down. You're always there for us. So when you after you have you heard this, and you decide to go back to being a pillow, the pillow, then you are feeling your husband's sin. 
and the next storm that will come, you will sing with it. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to say, I'm not, I'm not a sin. I'm not a pillow. I'm a pillow. I'm a pillow. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Hold fast to what you have that no one may take it away from you. Revelation 3 11. No one will take your crown. Hold fast to what you have that no one will take your crown away from you. You are a pillow. Remain a what? Pillow. Remain a pillow. That's what you are. You are a structure that is holding the foundation of the gospel. Jesus. You are the structure that is holding the word of God. You carry the word of God. Amen. It's within you. you and God has made you a, a pillow in his temple. You are a supporting arm to the body of Christ. The body depends on you. The world look up to you. They look up to you and myself. If you don't make this year, they will go, they will go lock ahead. The church will make a decision in this crisis. We need to put it to end. Amen. We have the final say in this matter. Amen. The church has the what? Final say in this matter. Until the church close Corona, until the church cancel Corona, until the church destroy Corona, Corona is not going anywhere. And we need to stay together as a church. Stay together as a pillow that God has placed in the temple to, to hold together. And this man to destroy Amen. this thing called Corona. God bless you. Amen. May His face shine upon you. May He keep you. Amen. May you never be a, a, a pillow. Amen. Always be a pillow. Amen. First Corinthians 10 12 says, Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take note. He a uh, 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 thought less he fall. Hallelujah. We all are struggling there. We all are getting there. We have not arrived yet. Amen? Amen. It only takes God to make us to be who we're supposed to be. Amen. And if your confidence is in God, if you're holding fast to what you have, you have learned, what you have gotten from, from this word, from his word today, the enemy cannot take it away from you. Amen. And you'll be that which you are called to be, Amen. a pillar in his house, a, pil a pillar in your life, Amen. a pillar in your family. A pillar in the body of Christ. Amen. Never a pillow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be so comfortable. Don't uh, uh, lay your heads and then go sound asleep. Amen. Amen. It's about time that you rise up and be that supporting arm. Having the confidence and knowing that God is able to keep you Amen. even in this time and even to the time to come. Let us rise to our feet.